Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with uh, decorating my cinch journals. More of that. And I do apologize for yesterday's video ending abruptly. Um, got a telephone call and had forgotten to put my phone on um, on the airplane mode. So it came right through and, and stopped the video. So I apologize. But where we were was I was I was working on cutting a few um, banners here that we're going to put across this page and and uh, um, the, the thought being that we'll cover up this writing that was left from our paper flip or uh, fabric flip that we did. Okay, so we're we're back. <laughs> we're back. I apologize about that. It's like, oh gosh. And the minute the the phone rings, I'm like, no, I forgot to do, forgot to do airplane mode. Oh, and then it just, it stops the video. There's nothing I can do. It's just gone. And then I thought, well, should I post it? But I wanted to post it. Yeah. So anyway, if you'll recall, we did the um, book pages into about thirds. And so I'm just cutting them at various lengths here. I think this is going to be a teeny weeny one, maybe. And, um, and then we'll, we'll just make a little, make a little banner tuck because, um, yeah, just kind of like that. Okay. I'm going to, um, distress the edges. I'm kind of all a flutter today, you guys. I have to have to tell you a story while I'm inking. Oh my gosh. I'm just kind of, I, I don't know what to think, but so my husband and I were chatting and, um, and he was, he was talking about my, you know, my YouTubing and my journal making and crafting and everything. And he's like, you know, I just don't really feel like you have enough room. And I said, well, I know. I said, you know, I said, I always look at real estate anyway, but I said, you know, I've been looking at houses with that in mind, thinking that's the only reason I would want to move because I love my house, but my craft room is tiny. It's very small and I have a lot of stuff. And <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, my husband says, well, what if we moved the TV upstairs and you took over the whole basement? Oh my gosh, this is something that I never thought I would hear him say. <laughs> so I was like, well, yeah, that would be kind of awesome. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to go kind of like that. See how darkening the edges just defines those so much better? Okay, um, yeah, so I'm somewhat a flutter with the idea, but... I told him, really, I think what I need, what I need more than anything is I need room to store all the jillions of, <laughs> of vintage books that heaven knows I probably won't live long enough to make all into journals, but I keep buying them. I don't know. Cause I just, I'm enamored with vintage books. Um, so anyway, I said, really, I just, if, if I could get those out of my room and just use my room for stuff I'm actually using to create journals, that would, that would be helpful, you know? So thinking about, I'm thinking about that. I mean, I really, I told him I appreciate so much you thinking that we could maybe do that because it has crossed my mind too, but I, I don't know. It would, there'd be a lot of fussing that would need to go on. Um, for instance, we'd have to, we'd have to, I hope I did that wide enough. Yeah, I did. I think that'll be fine. I want to decorate the top of this too somehow. Um, I'm thinking about maybe using some of my, some of my trims from my, let's see, I've got this one. That's awfully cute. I could use that and then some other little thing. Um, 
so anyway, I don't know. I'm kind of all flutter about that and thinking about we have, um, we call it the garage level. We have on the garage level, the people that lived here before us created kind of a little, I'd call it a little den in there. There's bookshelves and, um, and stuff. It's a small room. It actually used to be my craft room back when my mom was living with us. Anyway, also a small room though. And, but it's got lots of shelves and stuff. And, uh, my husband was like, well, you know, you have stuff on those shelves. that's not books. Could you move your books up there and get them out of your craft room? I said, I said, well, I've kind of been operating on the idea. I said, do you remember saying to me that if I started to um, migrate out of my craft room, you might have a small problem with that? I said, I've been, I've been operating under that. And he said, well, I didn't know you were going to do what you're doing with the YouTube and everything. And I said, oh, so, okay. Uh, the rules have changed. I can migrate. So, um, so I'm thinking that's kind of the first move. I appreciate you guys letting me talk it out with you because I'm just, I was just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's the best here, but, um, because like I say, we would have to get cable upstairs. We would have to get, um, we'd have to get new blinds upstairs. Um, because we probably want to, um, we probably want to have those kind that come up from the bottom, you know, so that we weren't, cause our street is fairly busy and we'd sort of be on display if we were sitting up there watching TV. So anyway, um, it would be a bit, so I think we should take it in steps. All that to say, there's my glue book. Um, oh, look at that awful picture. Let's get that right off of there. We're just gonna, let's do this because I've been trying to make some corners with my book pages here. Um, anyway, so maybe better to do it in stages, I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, I will say my room has gotten to the point where like I can, it's, it's hard to move in here. <laughs> and some of that, some of that is stuff, but some of it's just, well, it's stuff. As I look around, it's really stuff. Most of which I use not every day by any means, but you know, a lot. I don't know. Okay. Um, I feel like I'd like a little something. You know, let, let me grab this box. Okay, I have this box of little stuff. Maybe there'd be something fun to put on there. Like, look at this little bunny stamp that somebody sent me that. I wonder if I cut that out and put that there. I think I'm going to. Um... There's a lot of things that I like to have at hand, but I was looking at my table, my big table over there, and I have stuff on it that I really, it's not like I use it in every journal or anything like that. So I think if I did kind of clear out my books and put that stuff on the shelves and then have more room on my table, I would feel less crowded anyway. I don't know that I'd be less, that much less crowded, but it would feel like it. So I don't know. I think, I think all the books waiting to be journals, all the covers waiting to be covers, <laughs> um, that stuff, I think I just, I need to put somewhere else. I, I think I do. So. Ooh, I hope I can do this without tearing him. Uh, uh, don't tear off an ear. Oh, so close. Oh boy. This is tricky on the 
I should have probably put the glue there, but I just have to line up his ears because I tore him a little bit. Okay. Phew. Did it. Oh, he's so cute. So that was stamping onto tissue paper. Kind of fun, right? I really should take some of my stamps and do that and just have them at the ready like that. So, okay, so let's do the art glitter glue and get that put down. And that there's a, there's a project done in this one. I was kind of taking a look at some of my stuff. I was thinking about kind of putting um, vintage things in here. Um, so, I don't know. And maybe not making everything that goes in here, but... I have made I have made some stuff that goes in there. Okay, so up here, this was the stuff I pulled out. See, that's I feel like it's all stuff that would need to be have something done with it. So I'm not happy with that stuff. I'm just gonna put it up and over because I'm not happy with it. What would we have already made go? in this journal. That's what I'm thinking I'd like to do actually. Okay, I'm gonna move the collage basket for a minute and replace it with the ephemera basket. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm just trying to put it, maybe do I need to back out a little? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, well, so I'm looking for this pocket and I have, um, I've sort of gone through and revisited this basket and have kind of organized it, I guess you would say a little bit more with envelopes and paper pads and pockets, journaling cards. Let's see, where's my journaling cards? Ooh, that's cute. That's so cute. But envelopes, envelopes. Okay, I just saw this tag, and I'm thinking that might go nicely with. Let's let's trade places. Let's scooch this over and put this here. But I like the colors of that with this pocket. That's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's put that in there. Um, we could slip something, we could slip something behind there if we wanted to. I'm not sure what that something would be. See, we could do something like that. Kind of makes me want to do a new vintage envelope for there. Because this one, mm, I don't, the poppies I'm not not loving the poppies on there okay and this would be good the poppy one would be good for a pocket okay well see as we keep flipping through the book then I have more ideas of what I want to do so I'm just going to grab out my vintage envelopes or or one of my one, one of my receipts might even be better so these are on my Etsy, the vintage envelopes and the vintage receipts. Ooh, I kind of love that one, but I think it might be too wide. How about this one? That's really cool too. Okay, and this one is from my town, which is kind of fun to have in my journal for whoever ends up with this little journal. Yep, look at how that is so fun. Okay, now the question becomes, do we want to foof it up a little or do we want to keep it as it is? Because it's, it's a fine um, journaling card just as it is. 
You can journal on the back of it. Okay, you know what I think I would like to do is I think I would like to find a floral sticker for just right here. So let's let's see what our options are on that floral sticker. This is not where the stickers live. <laughs> it's in the other one. <laughs> Okay, well, I was like, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh my goodness, my ties are in the way. I never tie these, so I really should just tie them in bows on the end because I always just look at, look it through them and then pop them back up on the front of my desk. Okay, so I want something little. So it's probably going to be at the top. I don't love the cactus. Yeah. Something little, something little. Well, these are too big, I think. Ooh, there, there's probably something here. No. These stickers are fine, but you know, the, the white Kind of bugs me because I'm I love the ones with the washi tape. That's not bad. How about a little Mrs. Cog's cutout? Oh, I kind of like that. Let's go with Mrs. Cog's. Can't go wrong with Mrs. Cog's. Hello, Liz. So amazing. Oh my gosh, I've been watching all of her. Um, I'm just going to do that so that that is there to close it if I ever would, but I never do. So let's just get it out of the way. Um, she has been canning and as my grandma would say, putting up her garden, um, her garden stuff. Oh my gosh. They, her and her husband, they're amazing. They're going to be way healthier than the rest of us, though, eating their own produce and stuff instead of... Gosh, I just saw on the news where um, Target and Walmart bottled water was recalled. It's like, I said to my husband, nothing is safe to eat and or drink anymore. <laughs> it's like... A little crazy. Okay, that just gives that a little something, and I'm much more happy. So let's just pop that in there. Okie dokie. And I am leaving all the journaling space. I, this one, this one is bugging me. What do we want to do with that? I mean, like, I like this part right down here. Spring returns, the flowerets blow. Will hope return? Ah, uh, no. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> so what do we want to do here? What if we did like a flip of some sort? That goes the wrong way. Ooh. wouldn't mind that on there but then it would cover up the back so just I just need to dig a little bit to find the right thing everything's going sideways ooh we like that right there and we can make it flip and then there's journaling space on the back and whoever got this book could put coffee dyed paper over that if they wanted but they could also be able to look at the wonderful English 
stuff that's on there. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's do, let's find ourselves a little piece of coffee dyed paper that would be a good hinge. Phew! I have my little diffuser going. I was telling you guys I have a diffuser in my room. And I might have put a drop or two too many in my in my diffuser because I'm kind of choking right now. <laughs> oh, so the essential oil I have, I don't know if I told you this, but it's focus. <laughs> oh, because you know I could use that. Oh, goodness, I get a little unfocused at times. Okay, I think I want to just kind of round the corners on that just to give it a little something. And then we'll just put that on there and then attach it to the... Sorry, I'm really working way down low. And I know I'm on, I moved in a little bit just to be, so you'd be closer because I had a request for that. So, um, I need to adjust my own thoughts of where I need to be because it's the bottom of my, oh, I was probably on camera close to anyway. All right, so let's put some glue on this guy, get it on the page, and then I'm happy with that page. If I keep at it, these are gonna be alligator mouth journals, but oh well. I'm having fun. You guys told me, do whatever you're gonna have fun doing. And I have had fun doing these cinch journals. It's been fun to revisit these. Okay, so then that will just be a little flip up and provides more journaling space. And it's pretty. <laughs> okay, so here's where I get here's where I get befuddled is what am I gonna put in these? No. I thought I had another one of those. I want it to be somewhat thin. Got lots of tags. Oh, I know. In these, I was going to get out my vintage playing cards. Thought of that last night. Let's see. What do we have? have such a such a bundle of these cards so something that would look pretty with this this one's not too bad put that out as maybe there's some honeybees that's a cool one this is pretty too the old maid. I had that old maid cards when I was a kid. This is pretty too. Those two are so pretty. Sorry, but I'm all I'm all fumbly. I'm all finger. Oh, isn't he cute? I got him in happy mail, no doubt. He's so cute. Little beaver. I think that's a beaver. Some of these 
They're so sweet. Okay, I think for this particular journal, it is maybe these. Do I like that one or I like this one? Brings out the pinks. Nope. And while I'm at it, let's use a let's use a definition card. Let's put those in there. I think I've got I've got more. Yep, right here. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one goes better in there. tall ones and see if there's something kind of bumblebee related but okay I felt I felt like there was one more wasn't there like that yep that looks nice in there um how about a vintage tally card No, I might go through and just put these in the pockets of all the journals since I've got them out and then I can and they can some of them are vintage some are not it's a little prayer card that's fun Some of y'all that have sent me happy mail are probably seeing some that look familiar. I like that one. Let's do that. We've got to figure out what's going to go in the back of those pockets too, but I'm kind of feeling happy finding something for, I'm just making sure there isn't any more of those pockets. Okay, not in this one. Okay, so let's... That's not too bad as far as alligator mouth goes. Okay, I'm going to actually set that up on my table and we're going to do all the look through the ones with pockets like that. I don't think this one has any because this one, nope, not quite as done. I think these two are the more done ones that might have those pockets. Yeah, that one's got that pocket. So I think, yep, here they are. Okay. Ooh, that's so pretty. This one kind of goes nicely. That's pretty there. Let's put one of these in there too. Okay. And then we can put all that mess away, right? These are the things we're going to put in that one. Here they are. Oh, I love that. Love that. Okay, we should be able to find something wonderful that goes with that. These. Ooh, look at these fairy cards. Those would be fun. This is like the fairy book that I got. I bet you it's the same artist. Yep, I think so. All sorts of different things. Got this in Happy Mail too. I get the most amazing happy mails. That one's perfect. I love that. Okay. This one talks about a lad that could not... Sportive, mischievous, tricky, knavish. The knavish lad could not avoid trouble. That is 
perfect for right there. Let's go this way. Okay. Okay, so there's that one. Um, and then I think this one also is has those pockets. I do believe. So it's a nice tuck right there. Yep. Okay, this is the one with the etiquette stuff in it. So what would be fun in there? That's kind of fun. Mm hmm. So, I'm wondering if there's something in here that would kind of be nice too. frogs. <laughs> Ooh, scary clown. <laughs> okay, I kind of love this. Etiquette and behavior, an evening out with the boyfriend, including a meal at a restaurant, and here's some frogs eating breakfast in bed. <laughs> oh, I kind of like the, uh, Tongue in cheek of that, I kind of do. Let's see. Oh, what else we have? Um, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I love that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that kind of tickles me. Can you tell? <laughs> Okay, okay, there's this one then. Um, what would we like to put in this one? Um, let's put plates. Just kind of looking through the tally cards. Okay. Not anything there super grabbing me. Maybe since I did frogs, maybe we should do this guy. He doesn't really, his colors aren't right, are they? Hmm. I don't have a frog one. <laughs> but I like these. It's kind of nice color wise. some more frogs but they're not the right color either and another breakfast frog I'm so glad I have two of those <laughs> hmm not really coming to me I mean this one's okay it's kind of nice if there's a something about a labyrinth Let's just that one. okay 
Okay, I think that's all we have that have pockets in them, I do believe. No, no. I don't know, maybe this one does. I don't know that this one does, but let's just double check while we have everything out on the desk. Nope, it's... I don't think so. Okay. Okay, now we're just going to put all this back where it belongs so it's out of our way. Tally cards, tally cards, tally cards, cigar bands. <laughs> Cigar bands are filed with tally cards. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Those back where they go. And get back to this one and decorating it okay I gotta put my lid on my glue or it's not gonna work next time okay so got that got that okay oh okay so bigger thing in the back that's where we were at got some bigger tags That's pretty okay, isn't it? Need to put something on the top. Um, okay, I'm going to worry about that later because it's away from me. Let's see what else we have in here. There's one that's kind of the pink and purple. Um, and then there's that one. Excuse me while I look through. This is cute. Okay. Ooh, then what do we want to pop under there? Where did my journaling cards go? Is all journaling cards? Yes. These are pockets. Those are not journaling cards. Okay, let me get this over here where you guys can at least kind of see what I'm looking at. Okay, so there's envelopes. Those, but those are... Okay, where's all my journaling cards? I know I have like a gazillion of them. What'd I do with them? Here they are. Okay, here they are. Oops. Oh, I almost spilled my water. Actually, I did spill my water. Excuse me while I mop up. <laughs> what was I saying about not having enough room in here? I think it wouldn't matter how much room I had. I'd still have a mess right here, you know. It's just it's just the way it is. Okay. So, there's this little girl who is adorable. That doesn't fit well. That's not too bad. You can't see the bird, but ooh, that would be nice there. Oh my gosh, this journal's gonna get this journaling card. I love this journaling card. Okay, putting that there. 
The good news is if you use them up, then you have to make some more, right? Okay. And then the other side is our fabric flip. Good, good. Okay, I think I'm going to take out this plain envelope because why not why not put an envelope that's decorated, right? Um, I like I think I might like that one on there. But I need to put a little art glitter glue. I probably used glue stick and that just wasn't enough to hold that. So we're going to re-stick that. And then we'll just clip it. And you guys, I think this journal is done. Right? Like that. And then, let's see if I just have a little clip here handy. I have that. So it's a little hard. It's a little tricky. There we go. I like that with the yellow butterflies. Okay, we could have a little, a little something tucked in there. If we... Kind of nice, isn't it? Okay. Now the only thing we have to do in this is put some some sort of little fluff on the two cards. Oh, wait. We have to do we have to do this. Okay. So I think I've got a journaling card right here that will work, or a tag. I mean that will work. Now we just need an uh, index card with lace on it. And index card with lace and toppers on those two um, uh, 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 tags. And then we will have it. So see, I just want to put a little... You know what I'm wondering? I'm thinking about just using... If I can find one that has really nice edges. Ooh, I like that one. I kind of like that just like that without lace. All right. Well, it's easy. Let me go grab my. Um, we're just looking at what I have close and I. Don't know if I've got stuff for. I do. I do have stuff in my little bucket here that could go on the top of those tags. Oh, I need stuff for in there yet. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in this journal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I've got I've got topper stuff here that we could use from this little happy mail. Let's see, how is this? What do we got going on here? Okay. So am I gonna be able to, yeah. I'm just gonna clip that. If I find my scissors, clip that. Whoa. And I'll just pop that through there. I love having stuff done that you can just choose from, you know? It's so nice. Okay, so there's that one. And then this one needs something a little more. This one. Like that.
subby that sent this happy mail was so smart she just loops it through the hole of the tag and that's what holds holds the end that's so smart okay good i didn't have to go clear across the room i had it right there okay so that was that. Now, all we have to do is decide what we want to put in here. And I was thinking about more journaling space. Um, let me grab a couple of vintage receipts, I think. Let's do one of these for each side a little vintage receipt oh they're so vintage they're like crunchy <laughs> i like that you know and these are thin so that might be all i put in there because whoever gets this journal is going to have stuff they want to put in as well these have an extra copy and then those just can sit under the under the um, stenciling you guys oh this one's done I think this one's done oh that's exciting I am going to put my my little thingamajiggy on it. My little made by Gail thing. And I don't think I'm going to put it on this light paper. I'm scared of that. So I think I'll stick it up here. Right here. Yeah. And that is just fine. The only other thing this needs, which... I put in all my journals is my little bunny and we're gonna stick him somewhere in here it's always I out try to make it kind of a surprise for people who buy my journals ooh let's put it on the inside of there I'm gonna grab a little something to stabilize There he is. He's in there. We can call it done when he's in there. And you know, I was kind of going back and forth about the cover of this one, but I really love, um, I really love this. So I think I'm going to leave it just as is. It's got a little lace on the bottom, a little lace on the side, a little fluff on the top. We finished one. We finished one. And with 10 minutes to spare. So let's look. Let's look at another one. I am going to grab something up here. I just, when I was grabbing the receipts, I saw this. And I think one of the next ones I do is going to be this. And I thought that that might go nicely in the middle here. Yep, it fits. That fits there. Yeah, I don't love it. Nope. Maybe over here with one of these. Yeah, that's that's just that's just fine right there. Okay, what are we going to do with this guy? Got a little tuck right there. That's fun. And C. 
seen. Too big. Too big. Those are big journaling cards. Anything smaller that would be good. What about this little postcard? It's kind of nice there. We could have something else that pokes up a little bit, like a small little card of some sort. Kind of like to go in threes, you know how it is. Want to leave that like out the top, maybe? We can always change it if we decide we don't like it. Oh, here's our stuff, our stuff to use. So, we need to decide where we want to use that stuff. There's the front page. Of pockets. Keep that one. Kind of like that across from there. Okay. Let's put that on there. Very carefully because the art glitter glue sticks right away. Okay. Yep, I like that there. So on this side, let's do this on this side. Could be there. Don't want to cover up the pretty doily. Got a pocket there. Could be across from this with the green. I like that. Okay. So I hope you won't get tired of all of this decorating before we get all these journals done. <laughs> but I mean, I can do some on my own too, but okay. And then does the journaling card go in the belly band nicely? I think it does. It looks good there. Okay. Great. We've got to start. Okay, we need some tags, don't we? This one has blue in it. That might be nice. Right there. Oh gosh, guys. I, I'm like using up my stash. It's making me, <laughs> making me feel a little anxious. <laughs> Okay, this one flips out. That's fun. The etiquette. Okay, so we did. I haven't done anything with those two yet. Look at this. This might be nice in there. Just found it. Just a little pad of handmade paper and then um, one of my trims. we put that in there that's nice good good don't know what I want to put in there yet oh, we've got that there okay I'm gonna need a fabric flip probably okay there's this Ew, the blue. 
loose clash. <laughs> new, new, new. Oh, maybe this one. Maybe it's the jar tag. I think it might be the jar tag that goes there. Okay. So where do we want to put a fabric flip and I better check my time. I really like that. That's nice. I could use one more thing behind it. I don't know. Could put the fabric flip right there or here. How about here? Okay, how much time do we have? Oh, we have a few minutes. Let me grab some fabrics and see see what we think. I don't know. I don't know. I was looking through the fabrics over there, and I'm like, nope, got to get back over to my pals here. Okay, I'm really, I'm kind of liking that that deep maroon. Yeah, I kind of do like that. Okay, we got to figure out how to get these apart. I guess you just cut, just cut them. Because Yep. Okay. Yep, just cut them. Okay, I do like that. And I'm really liking using these. Okay, so what goes with that? This kind of does. No, that kind of doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. I've got, oh, there, that's the, that's the lace I was looking for last time. I don't know if I want that there, though, because this is all coffee dye-y. Okay, I gotta leave that on the top. That'll be for for something. Mm -mm. Don't feel like I have just the right fabric here. That's kind of nice. Kind of like that. Let's see. Maybe if we get this figured out what we're doing with the fabric flip, I don't have to necessarily get it all put in the book while, while we're together. See, I think I just kind of want a strip of it. Strings and strings. I throw it. I run it everywhere. I throw it in the garbage and it pops back up and lands on my pants. <laughs> okay, I like that. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Let's see what else we would like to do. I'm kind of feeling... Okay, hang on one... Kind of feeling like I want to tie in the coffee dye again, and so I'm just looking at stuff that was handy, close and handy. Ooh, look at that! Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then let's just put that right there. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That's fun. Okay, well, the fabric flip for that one is figured out. We just have to sew it and glue it down. And I think we probably, well, we're running out of time. Let me just really quick sew that and glue it down. 
and then I'll feel like we're at a good place to, to stop. Good job, sewing machine. Did that so nice and quick, lickety split. Just did a little zigzag at the top. And now we have our fabric flip and we're just gonna put it up at the top. Oh, I love it. That's so fun. I really am having a lot of fun with these journals. It's like, why'd I wait so long? But just other things, you know? And I think once I get these done, I might do my Artie Mays design team, I think. What do you think? Oh, I like that. I like that. That's really fun. Really fun. So thanks everybody for watching this decorating episode. I think there'll be more to come. <laughs> So I hope you I hope you'll hang in there with me while I get these journals done by golly we're going to do it. So thanks so much everybody. We'll just see you next time. Bye bye.